Hi guys, welcome back to Teacher Rod Tech and this is the third video sa ating Computer Assembly Series. Click kayo sa card sa taas para mapanood din yung part 1 and 2 ng ating lesson. Now na natapos na natin i-test ang ating mga components, it's now time to put them all sa ating computer case. And as always, before we start, perform muna natin ang ating ESD or Electrostatic Discharge Procedure. First natin gagawin is to locate again ang ating F-panel header sa ating motherboard para maikabit ang front panel lead galing sa ating case. Sa motherboards ay may mga labels kung saan ipa-plug ang mga connections. Check niyo yung inyong motherboard manual para dito if walang label yung particular mong motherboard. Take note also sa placement ng mga motherboard standoff ng ating case kung saan natin imamount ang ating board. Una natin ikakabit ang rear I.O. shield na kasama ng ating motherboard and holding by the CPU cooler gently place the motherboard over the standoff then make sure na properly aligned ang rear I.O. ports sa rear I.O. shield Next, using our screwdriver isi-secure natin ang ating motherboard sa case using the screws na specific for this purpose Take note of the type of screws na gagamitin natin para hindi ma-strip yung threads ng ating motherboard standoff also, don't over-tighten yung mga screws. Just make sure na tama lang ang fit ng mga screw para ma-secure ang board sa case. Susunod ang ating power supply. Check your case para sa tamang placement ito. In this case, may bandang itaas ng enclosure, ang pwesto para sa kanya. And iba ang type na screw na gagamitin natin para sa pagmamount nito. Make sure to use the proper screws. Let's then attach the 24 and 4-pin power connectors galing sa ating PSU to our motherboard. And secure the HDD to the case using screws. Plug in the SATA power from the PSU to the hard disk drive and use the SATA cable to connect the HDD to the SATA connectors ng ating motherboard. If you are using a graphics card, insert na natin ito sa ating PCI Express slot, lock natin yung ating latch, and secure natin ito sa case using one of our screws. Also, if meron kayong optical drive, insert natin ito sa front ng ating case. Then, screw it down. And provide power from a SATA cable from the PSU to the drive. Attach din natin ito sa ating motherboard using a SATA cable. Time to connect ang mga leads natin from the case to our motherboard. In this case, ang ating HD audio at USB front panel header. Now to make our work neat, we will perform cable management para dito sa ating build. Make sure na walang cable na in the way of the case and CPU fans para sa proper airflow sa loob ng ating case. Cable management options are dependent sa type and model ng computer case mo. Some cases do their cable management sa likuran o sa kabilang panel ng ating case. Plug in the power cable to our power supply. And let's also plug in na rin yung iba pa natin mga peripherals such as our monitor and keyboard and also our mouse to their proper port. Press the power switch and you now have a fully functioning computer. The next thing to do is install an operating system such as Windows or Linux dito sa ating computer. 
I hope na nag-enjoy kayo sa ating computer assembly series. And for more CSS tips, click on the card na nasa taas. And if you found this video useful, please click on the like button below, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to click on the notification bell para lagi kang updated kung kailan tayo maglalabas ng ating mga bagong videos. And I'll see you in the next one.